A few years back, I heard a minister share about an intercessory prayer team. It was a team of older women, and um, one of the ladies got it in her spirit to pray for a young girl in their neighborhood that went missing when she was 16 years old. And um, she had been missing for 20 years, so she'd be 36 in the present day. So the rest, some of the people on the team thought she was nuts, you know, to to bring this back up. But it was in her heart and her spirit to do it. So the team started praying. And three weeks after that team started to pray, the woman, uh, the parent of the young girl got a letter from the daughter. And the daughter arranged to meet with her, her family. And what happened was when she was 16, she got involved with this young man that was a drug dealer. And he thought she was going to turn state's evidence against him because the feds were after him. So he took her, he kidnapped her. So um, the young girl said he had her locked up in his basement for years, for quite a while. And um, when he'd go out, he would chain her, is what he would do. If he was around, he would let her go. But he ended up being in a relationship with her my goodness, and they had two children together. But my point is that when you put prayer on something with some faith or you got a, a move in your heart to pray, then let's do it because the Holy Spirit knows where these people are. He knows what's happened. And so we're going to ask him today to help us to find our missing, missing children. Father, I come before you asking you, Lord God, for help. Just like these women prayed, we're praying, Father, and we're asking you to bring closure to families. There are families that need to know where their loved ones are. Oh, Father God, we come against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness that have these um, traffic rings going where they systematically steal children. Father, if any of these children are caught up in those scenarios, Lord God, expose it, expose these rings, shed it down, help the authorities, Lord God, to find these particular types of rings. Anybody that is official, Lord God, that may be part of these things and are covering things up, we want it to be exposed, Father God, so that our children can be found. Lord God, even if it's a, a not so so um, happy ending, we still want to know what happened, Lord God, and we still want to be able to have closure in, in these cases. Oh, Father God, I ask you in the name of Jesus to let your angels move on our behalf. We're praying, Father God, that neighbors, teachers, if some of these children were taken when they were babies and have been put into school systems, let somebody see and know that something is awry. Oh, Father God, we ask that people would see what's going on in their neighborhood. Some of these people are their neighbors. And we just ask you right now, Lord God, to move by your Holy Spirit, have your angels help us to, to bring these things to um, a close. And Lord, we need justice. And sometimes, Lord, the cold cases don't want to, they, they don't want to reopen them. We're asking you, Lord God, for favor, new evidence, Lord God, to come forward so they can open up these cold cases. We ask for this, Lord God, in faith, trusting you. In Jesus' name, we ask you, Lord God, to to honor our prayer. Amen.